Your morning commute could be tricky today through downtown Spokane. The Monroe Street Bridge is getting some upgrades. We're talking alternate routes to get you to work on time. A windy day is ahead with temperatures in the 70s, but there's still a possibility of snow later this week. We'll talk about that in your forecast. Boeing is paying up. Millions of dollars will go to the families who lost loved ones in the two 737 MAX jet crashes. This morning, we want to know what you think. Has Boeing done enough since the 737 crashes? Rumors on the internet say Uber is upcharging riders when their battery is low. Our Verify team looks into it. A group of North Idaho libraries is celebrating Banned Book Week. We take a look at once banned books. Up with Cram starts right now with Jen York, Evan Narani, and Dina Marie McNichol. Well, aren't they sweet? They are. Oh, I love that. <laughs> love they say thanks for getting up with Krim. <laughs> as we say to you this morning on our Tuesday morning, I'm Jen York. I'm Evan Arani. And I'm Dana Marie McNichol. That's one of the classrooms you visited, Evan. That's right. That was East Farms Magnet, Steam Magnet School uh, <laughs> out in uh, Newman Lake. All right, yeah. we're gonna be checking in with them a little bit we later. We are, we'll watch some clips. I got to uh, bring a couple of them to the side and ask them what they think about fall, what happens in the fall, and they had some, oh, some fun answers. So uh, <laughs> we're planning those visits all, all fall, all winter, uh, really all school year. So if you're interested, classroom.creme.com is where you send the email. Well, get to your business this All morning. Right. We want to know what's happening outside. All right, so for starters, it's a bit breezy. We're seeing windy conditions today that'll last into the rest of the day. Uh, we've got 14 mile an hour sustained winds right now in Spokane, 12 down in Pomeroy, 7 in Ritzville, and 7 in Moses Lake. Overall, these wind speeds are going to be bringing gusts to the 20 to 30 mile per hour range, so it'll be a breezy afternoon overall. Uh, we are expecting those conditions to kind of be the primary uh, talker of the day as otherwise dry skies are going to be the case. Now, uh, what we saw yesterday was a few showers, but today we're not going to be sticking with many of those showers. We're talking about uh, mainly dry conditions and uh, the possibility of cooler temperatures as the weekend comes around. We'll talk about that a little bit more in just a bit, but for now, Jenna, I will send things over to you. Evan, thank you, 502. Now we're tracking breaking news. An overnight crash in the valley is causing power outages and could impact your morning commute. According to the Spokane County Sheriff, Argonne Road between Columbia Drive and Upriver Drive is closed due to a DUI crash. A Vista is on the scene right now working to repair power outages in that area. Right now, there are more than 1,500 customers impacted in that area. Plan to use an alternate route and plan to leave a few minutes early. It is 5.02 now. Well, a North Idaho man originally charged with raping a teenager will serve just three months in jail. The man is a former fire commissioner in Boundary County. Now, the victim's family says he abused his power to rape the victim. Court records show the victim was training to become a firefighter. Well, the man originally faced seven counts of rape. He later struck a deal with prosecutors. They amended charges to two felony counts of sexual battery of a minor. There are now six confirmed cases of vaping-related illnesses in Idaho. That's according to the state's Division of Public Health. There are also six confirmed cases in Washington. Two of them are in Spokane County. Health leaders also confirmed the first case in Snohomish County. Well, Coeur d'Alene is taking home honors in a new poll. A subsidiary of Expedia named it the best small town in the Pacific Northwest during fall. It ranked high for recreation, opportunities, scenic beauty and fall events. It listed the best time for fall colors in Coeur d'Alene as between this Saturday and October 12th. I wouldn't really be looking for the snow right now, but if it comes, we'll deal with it. Well, that was Tess O'Neill. She has lived in Spokane for more than 80 years. She says snow in October is not uncommon, but never September. Evan says snow is possible this weekend. Now, the last time Spokane saw snow in September was 1926. Typically, we do not see snow until mid-November. 504 now, some traffic concerns this morning. The Monroe Street Bridge is partially closed for the rest of this week. Come this weekend, the bridge will be closed entirely. The city is closing the bridge for repaving work. The closures start on the south end of the bridge and go to Riverside Avenue. 
There are also some other closures in that area, including Spokane Falls Boulevard is closed starting at Howard Street. Wall Street headed north and Howard Street will be closed from Main Avenue to Spokane Falls Boulevard. Well, if you're planning on driving in those areas, here's a list of roads to get around. Uh, there is Lincoln Street, Post Street, Maple Street Bridge, the Washington Street Bridge and Division Street. The closure should be reopen uh, by the beginning of next week. Well, that is your morning rush. Stories making headlines in the Inland Northwest. You can let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag up with Krem. It is 5.05 now. Well, a viral claim says Uber charges riders more if their phone battery is low. Jason Puckett with our Verify team separates fact from fiction. This tweet from last week is still circling and growing today. It claims that rideshare services like Uber raise their prices relative to your battery level. Well, since this tweet, a few articles have popped up. They reinforce the idea that Uber actually changes the cost of a trip based off your phone's battery. So is this actually true? Let's verify. Our sources, Uber's terms of service and privacy agreements, as well as statements from the company. So first off, you are giving Uber a lot of info about your phone. When you sign up for the service, you agree to their privacy policy. And that includes this section about device information. In the past, like this 2016 NPR article, Uber has confirmed that they can view your phone's battery percentage. They say it lets them know when they need to turn on a power saving mode. And in that same article, Uber stated that they don't use that information to set prices. So Uber says this is false, but we wanted to test ourselves. On the left, a phone with less than 20% battery. On the right, a phone with more than 90%. We put the same start location and destination and the prices were identical. We also scheduled a ride for later in the day. And again, the prices were the same. So this claim is false. Uber can access your battery info, but they don't use it for pricing. And if you're wondering about how this picture exists, then, well, it's not even Uber. It's a picture of Bolt, another rideshare app that doesn't even exist in the United States. Got anything else for us to verify? Send us an email. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett. 507 now, Jason, thank you. Well, Boeing released how much it plans to compensate families of victims of two deadly crashes. Crem 2's Dana Marie McNichol is live this morning in the newsroom. She is telling us about the compensation fund and how families can qualify. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. Yes, the Boeing Compensation Fund for the families of people killed in the Boeing 737 MAX plane crashes has begun taking claims. Now, the fund is for a total of $50 million. But before we get into the details, I want you to take out your phone and open the CREM2 app. So this morning, we're asking you, has Boeing done enough since the 737 crashes? Let us know what you think by voting on CREM.com slash vote or in our CREM2 mobile app. Following the Boeing 737 MAX crashes in Indonesia in October and in Ethiopia in March, dozens of families of those who have died in the crashes have sued the company. The 737 MAX has been grounded since March. The fund Boeing has made to compensate for the lives lost is the total of $50 million. That works out to nearly $145,000 for each of the 346 people who died in both crashes. Families must submit a claim to receive compensation by December 31st. The company has said families will not be required to sign away their rights to sue in order to claim compensation from their fund. The Federal Aviation Administration has been meeting with international regulators to review the changes Boeing has made on the plane, including updates to a flight control system implicated in the accidents. And to make sure um, you vote in the live poll this morning, we'll continue the conversation. We'll have the results for you all morning long. I know it's pretty early right now, um, so it's 50-50%. So we'll check in with those results. We'll send it back to you, Jen. All right, Dana Marie, thank you so much. Coming up on 509 now, well, so they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but in this case, it might be a half serving of nuts instead. This is from a new study in BMJ Nutrition, Prevention and Health. Eating more nuts is linked to less weight gain and lower obesity risk. Researchers found substituting a half serving of nuts for processed meats or desserts was associated with avoiding gradual weight gain. And if you find yourself hungry all the time, you might want to try and catch a few extra Z's. This is according to a new study from Penn State University. It says poor sleeping habits may be to blame for feeling hungry. 
The study found not getting enough sleep, even just for a few days, can change your metabolism. It added it can make people feel less full after eating. If happiness in life were a test, many people would be getting a big fat F. According to a new study from London, the average human rates their happiness at 6.3 out of 10. They say people are just too busy to enjoy their lives. The survey found free time is directly connected to happiness. Good idea to take them. those vacation days. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I mean, but also I feel like it's like they say they're too busy to be happy. I'm like, well, the idea is to be bu to be busy and happy. You know, mm -hmm. like they're not mutually exclusive. Or be, right. be busy doing things that you would enjoy. Exactly. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, right. Be bu yeah, right. Be busy doing things that make you happy. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, we also always say America is the most what overworked country. Yeah, We're constantly it, connected to our phones, exactly. email, mm -hmm. things like that. Never shut off. I think it's important to put in self-care and moments to just mm -hmm. give to yourself. I know you're busy, but you have to carve those times. You don't even, might not think about like just 30 minutes a day to do a skincare routine. Yeah, yeah, face mask. That's face mask. Exactly. Do anything. It's worth it. Makes it. You I feel just, good. It makes you feel like you have your life together. Yeah. <laughs> At least it does me. Something just like the little perks that get you yeah. through the day to day. Exactly. All right, everyone is coming up on 511. Of course, you can let us know how you take care of yourself. What's your self care? Yeah, give us your self care yeah. routine. Let's just spread it. All right, coming up after the break, we have some very fun video for you. I did my first crumb in the classroom visit of the school year and visited East Farm Steam Magnet School. After the break, we'll tell you about that visit and about what the kids thought about fall. And the Spokane general election is coming up on November 5th. Voters have a lot of decisions to make, and it's not just local issues. We'll break down the ballots at 530. And coming up this Wednesday, we hope you'll join us for Bark in the Park. This is a partnership between Creme 2 and Spoke Animal. Adoption fees will be waived for the first 20 dogs. That is on a first-come, first-served basis. It gets underway at 5 p.m. at the Skate Ribbon. We are so excited to see you there.